This time on Style City, we're at the West Tower Country House in Auden for Ladies Who Lunch. We'll be meeting three designers who are showcasing here today and learning how to do beachy hair waves for summer with Spa Nights 2. As well as that, we'll have a competition and another celeb. It's time for Style City. Welcome to Style City. This time we are at the West Tower Country House in Orton. It's absolutely beautiful here. And we are here for Ladies Who Lunch, fashion shows, pop-up boutiques, and of course, lots of bubbly. Make sure you're following us on Twitter, at Style City Bay TV, to get involved in this week's competition, which we'll be telling you about later in the show. But for now though, let's find out what the event is all about. So we are at the beautiful West Tower Country House for Ladies Who Lunch, which has been organised by My Liverpool Life. And there are six designers exhibiting today, and I'm joined by one of them, Caroline Oates, and beautiful model Rachel. So Caroline, talk us through this. How do you make pieces like this? Where's your inspiration come from? For the them? inspiration for this is taken from the hippie era of the late 60s Love that. 70s. <laughs> As you can see, the print is really like, you know, that Striking. type of caftan, yeah. hippie type of print. It is an original. Um, caftan print from the 70s actually that has probably been reworked but um, I've used it for this shape because it hangs really well and you know people when they're on holiday you can wear it people can wear it to go out on night out yeah it has that multi-purpose doesn't it yeah it's very versatile and it's comfortable so it flatters the figure yeah. and a lot of people can wear it you know different shapes and sizes yeah because it comes into the waist and all those things you can it can shoot suit everyone in fact and you do loads of pieces like this don't you, you have like a full range not yeah. just the caftans yeah yeah so and if people want to get hold of those where can they get them from off my website carolineoats.co.uk Carolina Oats online and you exhibit events like this all the time don't you i do a few a few a year yeah yeah, yeah. just so people can come and see them in person as well yeah because i mainly do photo shoots as well yeah every season i do a photo shoot well, we saw some of those inside as well scanning through them absolutely gorgeous and rachel what do you think of this look i absolutely love this look as Caroline said, it's not just beach wear, no. it's everyday wear you can wear anytime through the summer. Yeah. And it's really comfortable too. Yeah, and for on holiday as well, going day to night as well, it's something really easy you can throw on and then definitely, get the towel. Definitely. Love all that. Thank you so much <laughs> for chatting to us. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay, so we've seen some gorgeous beachy summer wear, and now we're moving on to some statement pieces, I think you could it's fair to say. Um, and we're joined by Jake Philip Russell and the gorgeous model Emily. So, Jake, talk us through this outfit. Um, I don't, well, it's very inspired by Ruffles. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, just, I just think everyone should just be out there and different, unusual. And bigger the better? The bigger the better, as always. And the shorter the better. Yeah, this is really, really short, but um, she's got great legs, so she can get away totally. with it, can't she? So if someone didn't have great legs, would you say go full length and then and then not much on top? What would your advice be? With um, a big statement piece? It would completely depend on bust lines for me. Oh, OK. I think it's got away with the body shape and what they look the best in. And OK. I, I really think She's so gorgeous. She I know, but this isn't fair to anyone watching though, because she is so tall and so <laughs> slim. So for someone say who has a bigger bust, what would you say? Would ruffles work for them? Not really. Stay I away from probably that. probably try and do it more knee-wise. Yeah. But always. you've got to get the ruffles in somewhere for you. Yeah, of course, always. So we go for kind of more of a pencil shape with yeah, ruffles? Yeah, I, I think so, and cinch them in at the waist. And what kind of event would you um, push this forward to for a client? So, like, it's got to be like the races or something, hasn't yeah. it? Like, and obviously with a perfect hat. <laughs> yes, in fact, we're going to look onto hats next in a minute. But Emily, tell us, what do you think about this outfit? It's amazing, it feels great to wear. 
definitely got the wow factor. Even though yeah. it's short, yeah. is it very comfortable? No, it's great. I love it, yeah. It doesn't feel like it's really short. But does it make you want to go out and party? Yes. That's what we like <laughs> it to makes do. Want to dance. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Jake, thank you for joining us. Okay, so we've seen some incredible outfits for spring and summer, so now it's time to move on to hats. So we're joined by Janice from House of Charles and our model, Annie, with this incredible design. Uh, Janice, talk us through this hat. Um, my inspiration, my, my background is architecture, so um, I think unintentionally that my inspiration does come from architecture. Yeah. And it's massive, isn't it? Is that what you like, bigger yeah, the better? Yeah, I, 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 my aim is to create, it's not for women who shine and retire and No, no, I don't women, <laughs> It's for women who, who like to create statements, you know, so. So statement hats, if we're putting that together with an entire outfit, what do you do? What's your advice to anyone who wants um, to wear Well, my advice is, is um, I mean, I think a lot of women do like, tend to like wear hair out and a hat, but I don't think personally wear it, so I think. Okay. The best thing is to tie your hair back and let the hat speak for itself and have a plain dress. Really plain. And what yeah. about colours? Do we coordinate colours? Do you do something completely different? Um, I, I, think, I think you can I think you can coordinate colours, but I think it sounds best really as you know I mean you can match, match the colour completely, um, just depending on the dress itself, but I, it's nice to have a contrast. Yeah it is. And Annie, what do you think about this look today? It's amazing. I, I absolutely love it. You can wear it for the races any day. Yeah, you really could as well. And you don't just do hats for the races though, do you? This is for all kinds of occasions. Yeah, um, I, well, I do um, create bespoke pieces, so um, whether it's for races, um, mother's bride, bridal, um, whatever the occasion, um, I tend to get clients to bring their pieces to me in their outfits and I will actually create them something to go with their outfits. Great, so if people want something really special, yeah, they need so, to come and see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> Thanks for chatting to us. Thank you. A big thank you to those designers for sharing those looks with us today and to all of the beautiful models. They were from G Models and Casting. Right now though, it's time to find out what our style scouts found, not only at this event, but out and about in the city this time. So um, I kind of like mixing up kind of like chinos and blazers and things and like love just like little accessories and stuff. So I tend to mix up a bit of high street fashion with some more design and stuff. So I don't have any particular brand that I love more than any other. Yeah, the same. It's just a case of um, looking at what's new, looking at what's out and about. Also mixing what worked before with something new. Um, I'm, pr I'm certainly not the sort of person that's going to follow on from what is going on automatically on a catwalk because you know what, like nine times out of ten it's a bit daring, it's a bit adventurous and that's definitely not me on that level. Just, gosh, you answer that because I know who yours might be. <laughs> I, I massively admire David Beckham's fashion. I think he's kind of led the way for met metrosexual men for, yeah. to, to actually experiment and, and be a bit more comfortable in their own skin and, and wear something that actually um, they've admired but they might not have worn before because of him. Yeah, he's a fashion icon, isn't he? You go for um, I just get everything pretty much from charity shops. Uh, this was something from my local hometown and sandals and yeah, just wear something light and floaty today. Very nice. Uh, mine's just yeah, jeans t-shirt. I don't really put any thought into what I'm wearing really. Uh, film reference, loads of film t-shirts because film fan. That's it, stuff that's comfortable when I'm at work. I kind of like retro styles, so that kind of for ear more eras than people. Band stuff, I was like, because I'm into music, always what bands wear, trying, yeah, sort of punk stuff, I was like that. Uh, yeah, music sort of influences it, I guess, in films. Um, I'm not really into tanning. I like to be natural and kind of pale, which everybody else doesn't, but that's just me. What about you? Hates. That thing when people did hoodies up with just a string at the top, <laughs> that used to annoy me. I think that's it, though, really. So, all pretty much done. Um, my street stuff, uh, and these are Chanel, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Um, pretty simple really, mostly just skinny jeans and t-shirts most days, or a little black dress when going out. Um, yeah, leggings, Ugg boots, um, leggings and Ugg boots together probably. <laughs> I love Kate Moss, I really like the way Blake Lively dresses at the moment as well. Um, well, my outfit today, I've just come back from a job interview, so it was kind of I went for a bit like smart casual. Uh, I've gone with a waistcoat, shirt, skinny jeans, and brogues. I have quite a few like weird ones. Um, Jeff Brazier off this morning. He's quite nice. Um, Ollie Mers is, is a good one normally as well. Um, nothing too much. I'm trying trying to kind of look at that, the similar but kind of go a bit individual at the same time. Um, beige chinos. No. Ne never. That and Crocs, they, they're also a no-no, but apart from that, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to kind of go with it a bit. 
great finds by our team of Style Scouts there, as always. Look out for the guys out and about in the city at big events. Stay with us after the break as we'll be bringing you details on this episode's competition. We'll also be introducing you to another celebrity and, of course, bringing you Tip or Trend. See you after the break. Welcome back to Style City with me, Ellie Phillips. This time, we're at the beautiful West Tower Country House in Orton for Lady 2 lunch. Before the break, we met three of the designers exhibiting today and we sent our Style Scouts out and about at the event and into the city. Right now though, it's time to go backstage for this week's Tip or Trend. Okay, so for this week's Tip or Trend, we are in the backstage area, if you want, um, at West Tower Country House for Ladies Who Lunch. And I'm joined by Becky and Katie from Spa 92. And you're going to do uh, this week's Tip or Trend. So what are you going to do for us this week, guys? So we're going to show you how to achieve the beach wave look using your hair straighteners. Okay, so so which products do we need to do this with? What should we look for in a straightener? Um, the ones that we've got are quite good yeah so I mean anything really what you're looking for is that the plate of the straightener is slightly curved which so will help to bend off. the curl yeah. rather than it making it too straight for you okay so yeah. what do we start with do we start at the back do we start at the front yeah, I'd always start at the back of the hair okay and always sectioning it off for you with yourself with your like a clamp or yeah. a clip or something yeah and just basically all we're gonna do is take sort of inch size sections square yeah putting the um, Straightener in at the top, yep. bending the hair over, okay, and pulling down. That was really quick. So yeah, you do no, it really it is. quickly. Yeah, really, really quick okay. because obviously the longer that you've got the heat on the um, the hair, the hair, then you know you're obviously going to cause more damage, and especially if girls have got like lots of colour in their hair and stuff. Yeah. You don't want to. And what kind of pressure should be putting on it? Is it is it, are you not, holding it really tight yeah, or no, is it loose? Not holding it too okay. tight at all. Just nice and loose, and then taking your next section. Obviously, this is quite a quick look so you don't want it to be too perfect okay so we start at the bottom start at the back and work our way round to the front okay so yeah. i'm going to leave you to uh to do this look on our gorgeous model Emily. thank you Okay, so this is almost the final look, isn't it? And I've got to ask, as you were going through that, uh, were you curling the curls the same way or different ways? What's the technique it there? It depends. Obviously, once you get around the front, yeah. um, you need to, it's hard around the front, but you need to be able to angle your hand to come back um, differently. So you're bending on, on back away side. from the yeah, face? Yeah, so you need to come away from the face. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah, I would always say if you're going for the beach look to bring it back off the face. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, then when it's finished, what do we do then? Is it loads of hairspray? No, what what I do we use? use too much hairspray. The, um, the, these super dusts are quite good. I use a, this one, um, but like this, the salt sprays, everything that, you know, just to make it feel like obviously you've had a day at the beach. Yeah. Which we all want to have. <laughs> and then come off looking good. Exactly. <laughs> so we're just shaking that in. Yeah. To finish it up. So do you use hairspray at all with this? Yeah, I would. We okay. use, I use a hairspray which is basically like hairspray and um, back combing in a can. Yeah. Which is ideal for this this kind of look because you don't want anything that's too um, structured or yeah. too sat on, or you know you don't want anything that's going to hold it too too perfect much. Either. It's not meant to look no, perfect. This. No. this is about natural beachy waves. Yeah. Great. Definitely. So we've sh shook that in. Yeah, and then always sort of massage it at the root, especially with that particular product. Yeah. It, as the more you massage it in, the more it activates it to make it give it root boost. Yeah. Um, and then last step. Yeah. And then just pop the hair back, give it a good shake. And you're letting a layer hair back and set that as it is now. Yeah. And just bring your hair up. Perfect. Well, not perfect, which yeah. is the whole idea yeah. of all. Yeah. yeah. And that, and there we have it. And that's it. Katie and Becky from Spa Ninety Two. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.
big thank you to Becky and Katie from Spa 92 for teaching us how to do beachy waves in this week's tip or trend. A big thank you as well to Emily, our gorgeous model from G Models and Castings. Right now though, it's time to find out who we've got in studio in this week's Celeb Style. Celeb Style is the part of the show where we invite one of our favourite celebrities to join us here in the Style City studio to chat to us all about their style from fashion do's and don'ts to outfits that they've loved and hated. This week I'm joined by star of Desperate Scousewives, model and TV personality Amanda Harrington. Amanda, thank you so much for joining us on the show Hi. today. Now you are one of the iconic Scousers, you're so stylish, we need to know how you do it. Okay, so you go to so many events in the city, let's get straight yeah. in. How do you plan an event, a, a big outfit for a big event, what do you do? Well, I have loads of events coming up, so what I do is, um, just over the weeks I'll be looking through Instagram, looking through magazines, and I'll screenshot everything that I like. Yeah. So then I have a little album in my phone. So you got just backlogs of have pictures tons and of them, pictures. Yeah. So I have, I have an album in my phone with all, all the stuff that I like. Yeah. And then I go and see my dress um, maker, Mary Spenlove. And, and she's a Liverpool dressmaker, yeah. isn't she? Great. So we sit down and then we plan the events that I've got coming up. What would be best for that? And then I'll put my own little twists on it. Yeah. Say I don't like the length or I don't like... You so you've know, seen what you like and then you're like, well, yeah. how would I wear this? Well, I might love the style, but I might like the fabric or I might like the colour. Yeah. So she'll show me what fabric she's got in and then we work together and then we create something that... So did you go in with like four inches? You're like, well, I want that bit of that one. And I go in with like ten. One. <laughs> I go in with like ten and then I'll go, right, well, I like the top of that one. But then I, I, I love the bottom of that one. Yeah. So, or I love like the fabric of that one. So we just work together and then create our, our own type of thing. So I don't like copy yeah but we'll just uh, just inspiration, inspiration and I, isn't ideas it? Exactly. yeah because so you go to in, do you go to instagram quite a lot for inspiration then well to be honest i'll have a look through instagram every morning and then every night when i get in bed yeah. so then everything i like i'll just always screenshot and then i'll go back to it and i think oh that'll be nice yeah, yeah. and that'll be nice yeah so, so instagram is a big thing but in yeah. terms of like other celebrities on a national international scale who do you look at and go wow you're so stylish i love what you do jennifer lopez is like i just think she's so glamorous yeah. and she's amazing for her age yeah. and she's she's just like right up my street here yeah. style she's really glamorous and at events she just i just think she stands she can't out. do anything wrong obviously she? kim kardashian i think her, i love her style yeah. as well but lately i don't know she's kind of like, <laughs> i'm not really into the big long coats over them like Bit dresses or stuff. yeah <laughs> when she goes out and stuff i love her style too but yeah, j-lo is probably me um, your favorite. And how would you describe your style then? Because you describe J-Lo, she's very glamorous. Yeah. What would you say your style is, your like signature look? What would that be? Um, I think I'd say I'm glamorous. Yeah. I like to be glamorous. I like to stand out. Yeah. I'm not really one to blend in. You're not a wallflower. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, I've toned it down, obviously, over the last few years because yeah. I was like full of sequin queen. Well, talking about <laughs> this, I think we should get to our first outfit because we've got a couple of photos okay. of you. So looking at the first one that we've got, um, is this one from a few years yeah. ago now? How, this was the famous girl dress. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. But it, it looked absolutely stunning in this. Yeah. Did you design this with Mary? No, this was actually uh, Miss Francesca Couture. Okay. And when we were actually doing the, um, you know, the promo for Scouse Eyes when it, when we all come on at yeah. once. Um, obviously, we needed something really amazing, so she really bought all out. the dresses along, and I just went. I was like, right, that I think that's what I need to wear. I wouldn't wear it now, obviously, because I'm getting older and stuff like that. But at the time, that was the style. And yeah. You know, it was very, everything was sequiny and blingy, so that was just perfect. But even though it's sequin and blingy, because you kept it so subtle elsewhere with the dark nails and then your yeah. hair pulled back, it just looks really elegant as well, doesn't yeah. it? Because I imagine with other things are like too much else, it might be a bit like crazy, but it looks so Yeah, I so just tried sweet. to keep the, the makeup minimal. Yeah. Um, obviously, the hair, like, back off my face and stuff, because I didn't want, like, crazy hair. Yeah. But um, it's still so popular now. She said, she said to me that she's still still, still getting them. orders for yeah. that dress. It, it was it went it's really, an iconic really look, big. isn't it? Really, yeah. it really is. Yeah. Okay, so we've seen this one that you loved, and now let's move on and look at one other that we have of yours. Now this <laughs> one, this one, I love this image so much. This again is another iconic image. I suppose yeah. it's kind of the style that spurred on the thing like scouse birds, kind of known for these rollers in the hair. Yeah, yeah. Would you still do this now? Would you still wear the rollers out and about? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Does it doesn't phase me wearing the rollers. I, I did it this. I don't really wear rolls that much anymore because I've only just got me extensions back in. Yeah. But it's I've been wearing like really straight hair, but I'd still wear rollers, no problem. It wouldn't yeah, it makes phase it me. You at all. I'm not too sure. I don't know why I wore that belt. Yeah. I wouldn't really. I should have just left the belt off, really, to be honest. Less. Yeah. Less is more sometimes. Yeah. But like we said, it is an iconic look that you had. Yeah. Um, and especially like, the jacket's so fitted and stuff. Do you like that? Do you like like pulling in the waist type thing? Yeah, and I love it a nice blazer. 
I yeah. love a nice blazer. I always wear blazers and stuff. Yeah. But, Hasn't um, changed that. <laughs> yeah, I've still got a blazer on today, yeah. It just smartened it up a little bit. Yeah. It more yeah. I love that image. It's so much fun. Yeah. And it looks like you had a good that time. Was at, I think that was at Lime Street today. <laughs> she yeah. was getting on the train to London. <laughs> With Francesca Couture yeah. representing. Love yeah. that. Okay, so let's move on to the final image that we've got for you. Um, and this is a current look for you, isn't yeah. it? This is quite recent. What was this? Ah, what, what event was this? This was at the um, Chic Networking event at the Hilton Hotel on Mother's Day, this was. Oh, lovely. So, I had that dress made by Mary Spenlove for that. Um, and the split was too high. And she's like, you're not going to wear it. It's you know what you like. You don't like it. <laughs> and I was like, no, I want it. I want it. And then when she when I put it on, I was like, oh, my God. It was like right up really there. Really high. And I was but so fair, paranoid. Though, it's so high necked, isn't it? Yeah. You were like, I can just about do this. I was so this. paranoid at first because it was so high, the split. But after a few drinks, I was like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Have a glass of wine. Yeah. It's all fine. I wasn't bothered, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, but I really loved that dress, and it was it was right, it was high at the back as yeah. well, so it was fully really covered sleek. up. I think if you've got your legs out, then your arms need to be covered yeah. up. Is that a rule that you'd stick by, kind of now, like you were saying? Yeah. You would have done things before, but now. Like, and then I think if you've got like a, a cleavage going on, you, you should like have a bit more maybe cover your legs. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. what, that's what that's what. Brilliant. Think. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We've yeah. loved having you on, looking through your outfits and getting some little tips and tricks from thank you as you. well. So we look forward to seeing many more outfits to come. Thank you. How gorgeous is she? Thank you so much for being our guest on this week's Celeb Style. Well, that's all we've got time for this time. But before I go, I need to tell you about the competition for you guys. Uh, you could be in with a chance of winning two tickets to the next Ladies Who Lunch event, courtesy of My Liverpool Life. As well as that, the lovely ladies at Spa 92 are giving away a spa day for two with treatments and lunch. And if that wasn't enough, then Mini are giving away a mini experience too. To be in with a chance of winning, all you need to do is follow us on Twitter at Style City Bay TV, find the competition tweet, retweet it, and that's it. It's as simple as that, and you could be in with a chance of winning. One winner will be chosen at random to win all of those prizes. That's all we've got time for. See you next time on Style City.